my friend at the hotel, Long D, was very self-conscious about his English. And so I started to give him some words of encouragement. He asked me to stop and uh, start again so he could record uh, it. You said to me that you were explaining that you didn't learn, you didn't go to school, you didn't learn English um, from a legitimate teacher. You learned it from someone in your neighborhood who was teaching in his house. And my opinion is that you should not be embarrassed or feel inferior because you don't speak English. First of all, English is just one, one language. And um, I am in your country, so I should learn to speak Khmer <laughs> because out of respect to you. So English just by itself is not a, a mark of intelligence. There are many people who are doctors, who are lawyers, who are physicians, who um, are book smart. They have intelligence from books, but they don't know how to interact with people. They don't know how to empathize. They don't know how to make a relationship work. They don't know how to work life. You know, we call those people book smart. They are book smart, um, and they can recite many things uh, intelligently, but they don't have the um, interrelational intelligence to be a nice people. <laughs> so I believe that someone who is uh, smart will not judge you based on your education. They will not judge you based on how well you speak English. They will judge you based on your heart. And they can, they can tell that based on how you interact with people. So, and in my opinion, your English is very, very good. And that's why we can have these conversations. So my point is that I know a lot of people, especially when they deal with tourists, they, are, they feel awkward and a little embarrassed that their English is not good. In fact, when I was in the Philippines, I would walk into a store and my friend, this happened to him, and when the Filipinas would see a foreigner coming, they would run away because you know, they don't want to speak English. They, they feel their English is no good. So they, they, they get, they push somebody else to speak to, to you know, because they don't want to be embarrassed. Um, same thing in Japan. A lot of places won't let people in who speak English because it's just too much trouble for them to speak, for the Japanese to speak English. But anyway, so my point is <laughs> that uh, you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't feel inferior at all about your education and your uh, uh, ability to speak English. That's not a mark of your character. Your character is how uh, helpful you are to me, for example. Your character is how you think about other people. So that makes you, in my opinion, a worthy person, regardless of what school you went to. You know, it, uh, it, to me it doesn't matter. And I think for people who matter, it won't matter. I mean, there are some people who will, who will look down on you because of that, but those people, their opinion does not matter. <laughs> those people, you know. So that's just, that's just my take. Okay. Um, one more thing. When I was on Saipan, I dated a young lady who was uh, a Chinese, and she worked in a garment factory. Uh, very simple life, very simple uh, young lady, uh, but nice personality, really outgoing. And she's smart in the sense that she knows how to get through life. You know, she may not have a college education. That but is she, what I like, is that people try to get through life. Right. That, is, that is what... Yeah, that's a mark of intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people call it street smart. You know, I don't like that term too much. But she's able to figure out how life works, get things done, interact with people. So she's able to move forward in life, even though she doesn't have a college education. So, and to me, that's a much, it was one of my, or my best relationship was with that young lady, you know, really calm, uh, easy to get along with, not combative, she doesn't you know, fight, doesn't argue, um, and we can have good conversations because she's willing to grow. She may not know all the words, mm -hmm. but she's teaching me Putonghua, and I'm teaching her uh, English. So we're learning together. And so I don't judge her for her English. She doesn't judge me for my uh, Mandarin, my Kutaho, but we uh, can get along um, compatibly 
because of our similar heart. Brain is different, but the heart, <laughs> the heart is the same. That's it. Yes, thank you so much for a <laughs> very good idea. How do I say it? Because my English is very poor, so sometimes I cannot speak what I want to speak. Right, right, right. That's yeah. frustrating. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But Google Translate, Google Translate is yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, I use that. That's a very good, like, how do you say, advice? Or? Advice? Oh. Yeah, you give me a very good idea. Advice, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh, opinion. <laughs> yeah. My, that's my opinion. That's just yeah. my opinion. You have a good opinion. <laughs> That we have, you, yeah. Quite that make people understand. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Alkun, someone told me how to say. Thank you. You're welcome, but I forgot. <laughs> man a t. Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. Man 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 a t. Man a t. You told me that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man a t. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>